I love talking about house helps. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love this topic because it is exciting. There is so much drama and also most of all, because nobody is talking about these things. I mean, how are we ever going to learn these things if nobody talks about them? So I have taken it upon myself as my honor to discuss every little life out of this topic until we as working moms and as stay at home moms and just moms in general know how to deal with these people. If this is the kind of content you like, stay tuned because I am going to share with you the 10 tasks that we do not allow our help to do. Welcome. Woo -wee! Have you checked out the video I did about the day I decided I am not going to look for a house help anymore? Ma, you should. The stories that I got from that video, the comments, the DMs. Ah, oh, I thought I was the only one who was having a hard time with house help, but people sent me their stories and wow, let me tell you. I am not alone and neither are you. People are having drama, but, 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 but not all house helps are bad. And if you haven't watched that video, please do so. And, and, and I think one of these days I will do a video on the craziest house help stories I have ever had because I am getting them and please keep commenting on this topic so we can help each other and also encourage each other it's really amazing now back to today's topic mm -hmm. we have house helps and we love them and they're god's blessings to us but there are some things that we in our home do not allow our help to do and let me just say let me just say caveat before i get there let me just say that this is what we do in our home this does not mean that you have to do it in your home i'm just sharing what happens in this our home thank you for understanding there is now no condemnation so the first thing we don't allow our help to do in our home is to make our bed yes now i know i know this might be a no-brainer to some people but it is not a no-brainer to some other people because i personally have heard stories of where house helps have to make their employers bed i mean i mean let's think about it just just take a minute and think about it why it only takes a maximum of 20 seconds to make your own bed. Why would you want to subject that girl to that really? Why? And I have some noisy buttons. Can you guys hear them? So if you hear a clanking sound, just know it's my buttons. But anyway, why, 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 why should anyone be making your, your bed seriously? But anyway, I'm sure people have their own reasons, but we don't let our house make our bed, period. End of story, done. The second thing that we don't allow our help to do is to make our kids beds. Now, this is not for the same reason why they, she doesn't make our bed. The only reason why she doesn't make our kids beds is because we want them to learn to make their beds themselves. The only bed that is made is our two-year-old's bed. And for those who don't know, for those who are new to this channel, first of all, welcome. This is a great place to be. We have so much fun and talk about all things motherhood. And we have four kids. The eldest is six. And then we have twins who are four. And then our last one is two. So only the two-year-old's bed is made. The rest of them have to make their beds. And it's not perfect, but it's better because they're learning responsibility and they're chipping in. And people need to chip in where they live, right? Right. The third thing that we don't allow our house help to do is to clean our bedroom. In fact, we don't even allow her to enter our bedroom. Now, this is us in our family. We just think that the master bedroom is, is just sacred the sanctity of marriage we don't want it to be a place that people just walking out strangers someone has just been in your house for two days and they're already going into your bedroom your own relatives have never been into your own bedroom and they know you so why why should your house be going into your bedroom i mean i'm just saying i'm just saying there's now no condemnation i'm just saying 
think about it. Just think about it. Yes, I know we are working moms, some of us and others, we are busy, busy stay-at-home moms, but it is so easy to find time to clean your own room at least once a week. And using the Fly Lady system, you guys, I know you've heard about the Fly Lady system on this channel, but it is so amazing because it has really helped me to organize my life. Yes, I have a full-time job. Yes, I have four kids. Yes, I run a business and I still manage to find time to clean my own bedroom and just make my own bed, basically. I mean, how much more? I mean, it's just so little to do and it just, it makes things work in my home. So yeah, we don't allow her to clean our bedroom. Number four is to clean our bathroom because of the same reasons that I gave in tip number three. It is our bathroom, we use it. And of course, if you live in a house where there is a shared bathroom that is different, but if you have a bedroom, a, a bedroom in your bathroom, some people have bedrooms in their bathroom. My gosh, some people live in houses that are just, I don't know how, you can fit a whole house in their bathroom. But I'm talking about if you have a bathroom in your bedroom, it is, it only logically follows that you clean your own bathroom. And if you use the Fly Lady system called the Swish and Swipe, I have made a video about everything. I'm talking about the Fly Lady system, how to clean your bathroom using the Swish and Swipe method. It takes five minutes to clean your bathroom every single day after you have taken a shower. Please check out that video. It is so cool. It is so amazing. My bathroom is forever fresh. And it only takes five minutes after you shower and you get dressed. You just do shh, shh, shh. you just zhuzh it, zhuzh it like that. And it's clean and you're done. And your bath, your bedroom and your bathroom still remain, you know, uninterrupted, basically. I'm just, I'm just giving you food for thought, food for thought. Oh my gosh, this might end up being a controversial video. Let me take some coffee. Anywho, since we are caught in controversy today, let me just continue with the controversial topics and say that we, as tip number five, do not allow our house help to wash our innerwear. Yes, I said it, innerwear. Some people's innerwear are washed by their house helps. Oh my goodness, in this our country, you know yourself, woman. Mm hmm And even, and even, and even <gasps> your husband's in a way. I mean, seriously? Ladies, are we even for real right now? You know? I said, like, seriously, guys. <sighs> I mean, just, ah. Uh, I mean, like, ah. Uh, Okay, I won't even say anything else. I think, I think, I think that's just, mm -mm, mm -mm. done. The sixth thing that we do not allow our house help to do is to wash our beddings. Yes, our beddings. For the same reason why we don't allow them to enter our room or wash our bathroom or wash, make our bed or wash our in in way. In a way. How? Oh, anyway, <laughs> yes, thankfully, 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 we have been blessed with a washing machine and we just dump all our stuff there and it is washed and I do the folding and I do the ironing and I just, I basically just don't iron our beddings. I just, I like to do the folding of clothes and the, and the, iron, and the putting away and ironing of clothes. It is what I do to help my house help. Not to help my house help. She's helping me. What am I saying? Anyway, it is how I contribute in this house. Part of the, okay, let me just stop there. It is what I do. And then, and then, and then. If you haven't watched my video on laundry day, you have to watch it because the laundry that goes on in this house for six people plus one, seven people is another video all in itself. And I've already made it. So check it out. It is amazing. The seventh thing that we do not let our house help to do is to shower our kids. And this is as of this year, 2021. Yes, we have been teaching our kids about body safety skills. And 
again i made a video about the essential skills that we need to teach our children and body safety is so important it is so important because we need to teach our children what is private what is not private what's a good touch what's a bad touch and one of the things that we're trying to teach them and to foster in them is that there are some things that are private your body is your own you should you just should not let anybody touch your body and, and you, you guys know what i'm talking about your awesome parents so we decided we will teach them how to shower themselves i personally wish we had started earlier and even before we started teaching them how to shower themselves we decided that we as the parents will be showering the kids in fact we showered them for a long time before we decided hey wait a minute these guys are old enough now surely they can shower themselves at least our twins who are four and our firstborn who is six <laughs> So basically, basically, we decided to do that and it has been so good. And the kids, let me tell you, when kids learn how to do things for themselves, it becomes so amazing, they become so confident, they love showering themselves. And the workload is so less. And we just don't let the house elves wash them. Because let me tell you, someone has walked into your house that day. That day, a stranger you have never met. And then at 5 p.m. you tell her, okay, go shower the kids. I mean, basically, it's like, you know you know you know yes that's it of that point the eighth thing that we don't allow our help to do is to cook meals yes i know i know i am cutting controversy this is that video where i am just cutting controversy but bear with me as i explain why i prefer to do the cooking in our own home and i prefer to do batch cooking where i cook once a month for the whole month i make enough meals to last us for the whole month and this is only possible because we have done meal planning we have a schedule of what we're going to eat and it is easier this way i have made a video on meal planning in case you're interested you want to know how to make a meal plan for your family and i've also made a video of how we batch cook a month's worth of meals in just a few hours it is so easy and when i do that First of all, I reduce the workload for my help and also, and also, I make sure that my family is eating nice food that I have made because sometimes I have to travel for work and I just want to know that even when I'm away, they are eating the yummy, yummy food that mommy made. And yes, I make yummy food. I have actually made cooking videos and yes, those who have watched can attest that I make yummy food. Uh-huh. The ninth thing that we don't allow our house elf to do is, oh my gosh, I've been in so much trouble for this, but you guys just bear with me. This is what happens in this, our household. There is now no condemnation and everything, but we do not allow our help to sleep in the same room with our kids. No, we don't. Have you seen the horror stories in the news, you guys? I mean, I literally just stopped watching news. I stopped reading newspapers. I am very comfortable in this nice cocoon that I have made for myself under this rock. Yes, I live under a rock and I'm loving it because ignorance is literally bliss. Because some of those things that you read, you honestly wish you could unread some things, but you can't. They are burnt into your brain. So we decided for, for from forever ago basically that our kids will sleep in their room and the help will sleep in her room now i know not everyone is able to be in such a situation where they have these two different rooms but what i have thought and what i have you know just come up with is number one if you have a guest room then you can let your help sleep in the guest room and your kids sleep in the other room. Because honestly, how many times in a year do you even have guests? We personally don't have a guest room because we turned it into a classroom. Because we are homeschoolers, it's such an amazing journey. Check out that video. But we have been surviving very well without a guest room. And I should probably make... We'll tell you more about that later. I don't want to make this video too long. But, but, but... So one, if you have a guest room, let the help sleep there and let your kids sleep in their own room. And if you can't, then get a day bag. Yes, I think it is, it is worth the effort and the inconvenience of you having to be home by 5 p.m. or 5.30 p.m. to take care of your kids so that the day bag can go home as opposed to getting a complete, 
complete stranger from out there, out there in the wilderness, to come and sleep in the same room with your precious, 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 precious innocent babies. It is worth it. It is worth it. It is worth it because should something go wrong, should something go wrong even once, that child is scarred for life. I, I just, it's just me. Guys, this is just me. This is what I believe. And you can just let me know in the comments below what you think, but that's just me. And if you're liking this content, please let me know by hitting the like button. And also if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It really helps our channel to grow. And I really thank you for that. The 10th task that we don't allow our help to do is to cater to the kids at night. Let's say, for example, you have a baby and the baby wakes up at night. The help is in her room. The baby is in their room and you are in their room. So who wakes up to go to that baby? Is it you or is it the help? Now we decided that that would be us because our house helps work so hard. They have such a long day. They take care of these children from the moment the kids wake up at five, okay, six. Okay, our kids wake up at seven. Why am I saying five? I don't know why I'm saying five. But they wake up at seven and up to the point where the kids go to sleep at eight. And you need to give them a break. Let the girl rest. Yes, I know you were at work, but these are your children. So, to whom much is given, much more is required. So, if these are your children, take care of them. My husband, oh, my husband is so amazing. I am so blessed. He is so good at waking up in the middle of the night if anybody wakes up. And right when we had even newborns, let me tell you. And then, because our kids are on the Gina Ford schedule, they are very good at sleeping from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. They started sleeping that way since they were six months old and it's been amazing. The Gina Ford schedule is really good. If you have a small baby or if you're expecting, please watch that video. I have made it. It will make your life smooth and very interesting. But basically, my husband and I alternate in taking care of the kids in case someone has a bad dream, someone needs to use the toilet and all that so that we can give our house health a good night's rest. And thank you for watching. I really appreciate. I hope you have found this helpful. If you have, please let me know what you think in the comment below and give us a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.